As we're getting close to finishing, the enormity of this is actually starting to dawn on me. When Jonathan started throwing the straps out through the chimney, which is to what the balloons connect to actually lift the house off the ground, it became sort of undeniable and, and very apparent that two humans are going to fly in this house, you know, in this, in this airframe that we built, which is really scary. We're in timing now is really the issue. It's, uh, uh, we start to see twilight out here. We still have a number of balloons to get up. So really, it's uh, we have a limited time period in the morning where we can fly this thing, and, and we have to get it off in that time. So now the, we're really racing the clock. This is a one-shot deal. If this thing doesn't get off the ground in the next like five minutes, give or take, this isn't going to happen. And everything we work for is for nothing. They're pulling a lot of balloons. Okay, well we made this uh, thing. We, I think we have fewer balloons than we thought. I don't know if you can see this over my shoulder, but it's a bona fide flying house and we made it. I mean, in like two weeks. It really looks a lot like the movie. I mean, we went back and forth on the size of the balloons. Wouldn't it be nice if we could do it with party balloons? These are eight foot weather balloons and at the scale of the house and from this distance, this looks like the movie. This looks like up. We did it. <laughs>